Oh. Lake, here we come. And how cold is it? Negative 10. Negative 10. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My sled, Brandon's sled, Ben's sled, Joey's sled, Travis. Five miles, guys. It's happening. <laughs> Up on their trail. Oh, yeah. Beautiful trail. There's our portage. Oh. Going, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean, killer beard, Ben. <laughs> Travis blew out his hip. We're gonna turn back to snowbank. Hey, yeah. good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Brent and I are planning to break camp and go to Thomas. So, we turned around. Even if we had tried to push it, I don't think we would have made it there today. So, Brandon's got one on. Oh, oh whoa. That fuel power. Steak, New York strip. Beautiful morning. Just getting some wood. Some good dry stuff, a lot of cedar on top, some pine on the bottom. Fishing has not been amazing, so digging a bunch of holes, putting down a bunch of lines, hopefully we can find them. Not 
the greatest for that long of fishing, but you worked hard for them. Yeah. <laughs> Time to fillet up these fish. Nice, beautiful walleye fillets. Backing out. Home sweet home. All right, I'm gonna do a super quick flyby of everything I'm bringing on the 2019, February 2019 winter camping trip. Uh, before I pack everything, I'm just going to fly by as quick as I can to list everything. So, got it broken into sections here. This big floor section right here is going into the main duffel bags, which are these two. It's a 90, 60. So more than enough space probably for all this stuff. These are the bottom duffels. Uh, chair, hole insulator, saw, knife, wood prep stuff titanium stove, my cooking stove, sleeping mat, fuel canisters, fleece pants, steaks for the ice house, extra clothes, underwear, shirt, socks, extra gloves. Uh, this is all the food for four nights. It's all my food right there. Pretty lightweight. Proud of that. This is down booties, down shoes basically. I sleep in those, wear them at night. Thermarest Neo Air, X-Therm, pillow, shovel, down vest. I'm debating whether to bring that, just extra layering. Um, coffee setup, there's coffee in there, AeroPress grinder. Negative 30 degree down sleeping bag. Uh, this is just a catch bag. Um, it's got fat wood fire starter matches, leather gloves, paper plates, regular plate, paper towels, rope, carabiners, bungees, candle lantern, Ziploc baggies. Just a catch all bag. I put it in the mesh so I can see what I'm getting at. So those are all going in these two duffels. Now, um, there's a table that goes in the bottom. So I take these two put it there. This is the tent, the footprint, all that's in there. That goes on top next. Uh, the next is the top bag, which is the fishing bag, which is this. This is a little 40 liter. So we have a 90, a 60, 40. Um, the point of this is quick access fishing equipment. So kneeling pad, minnows, vexlar, Fishing pole, stands, scoop, tackle. Um, powering my, my Vexlar with double A's this year, so tons of double A's, but still lighter weight than one of the big batteries that usually comes with it. So, and then there will be a tip up in here, iFish Pro tip up on there as well. So, quick access fishing, and then the poles are going to be clipped onto the top bag, onto the side like that, and then possibly auger clipped on this side. We shall see. So I think that covers most of it. This stuff over here is stuff I'll be wearing. So um, boots, I'll have that. This is the harness and this is the water bottle. I'll have it looped in the harness. Trekking poles, snowshoes. This is a bungee net that will hold my big poofy down jacket, which is on the top as well. So, then I will be wearing a backpack. This is the last thing. Extra mid-layer jacket. It says um, quick access to snacks. Let's see, layering stuff like poofy down mittens, neck gaiters, fleece jacket. This is a, a wind hard shell. Um, just random stuff, toilet paper, that's all quick access day pack stuff. But wearing that, pulling the sled, uh, now I'm going to put it all, put it all in and see if it fits. So here it is, all put together. Starting over here, I got my backpack. This is all the stuff I'm going to be wearing, snowshoes, boots, things like that. This is, um an overnight pack for tonight because we're staying at a friend's place so 
sleep a separate sleeping bag in there and then here's the sled so again we got the 90 and the 60 on bottom and then and then the tent right here we strapped that on and then took the top bag right here use these compression straps to clip to the bottom bag so the bottom and top bag are clipped together that's not going anywhere and uh, now you have quick access to all your fishing equipment like that and then this clips on here and then potentially the auger would go right in there on that side and then put the bungee net right on top of this clipped it to there that's my down jacket readily accessible Lake Superior is frozen. I've never been up here where it's cold enough to actually freeze right here. Crazy, it looks cool. It is negative five degrees. Gearing up to head out. up to Ely, Ely, Minnesota. It'll be my first time there. Thomas Lake, here we come. Four or five miles in, right Brandon? I'd say about five. Five miles. Yeah. <laughs> it's we'll probably good. find out after the fact it's like eight. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think it's I, last night. If I remember right, it's about five. And how cold is it? Um, negative ten. Negative ten. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. Check the weather before we head out. Yeah. Can be good. Just gearing up, ready to go. Here's my little setup. Got the snowshoes, poles, water bottle, harness. Here's the sled. This isn't all buttoned down yet, but Brandon's sled. Right yeah, now we're doing uh, minnows. We're doing minnows. Yeah. There's my sled. Still gotta add the jacket there. Brandon's sled. Top accessible fishing stuff. Let's check out these guys' sleds. Whose sled do we have here? We got Ben's sled. Bring in the ice houses. Joey's sled. Carrying the majority of the food for the you guys, the two of you. We got Travis. Five miles, guys. Woo! <laughs> it's happening. <laughs>
Bank Lake. You can see there hasn't been a lot of people here lately. Beautiful. Some dog sleds down there getting geared up. They're probably headed our way onto this trail. We'll hop on their trail. Oh yeah. All right. They, they gotta be going on the dog sled trail. I'm gonna cut straight to it. Thank God for these dog sledders. Blazing us. Beautiful trail. I was starting to lose hope there because we were blazing our own trail for a while. And then they came along and saved the day. There's our portage. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh.
Oh. oh man, holy crap, wow. Oh, holy cow. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, I came up to about here. Uh, but the three, the, the three ones that just came through, they all went right there. Oh wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, Whoa! Yeah, we can float over that stuff pretty good, but yeah, I had a tough time. <laughs> I got four other guys coming behind me. I think I'll direct them up that way or something. Yeah. You, you want to do me a favor? Yeah. And just walk, like, come over this way and come over there and we can get a trailer right there. Uh, let's see. Point it out to me one more time. Yep. All right. Sorry. No, you try it. Thanks, man. Yep. Yeah. Brandon, come this way. Wow. How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Did you guys go out to Thomas? No, they're just up on a little point, right? Okay. Not okay. too far up, so Got far, it. we can see all of them. Wow. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you think we're nuts to attempt to hike back in all this fresh snow? It's just going to be slow going, y'all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not bad though, at least this is the only flush I've seen. Okay. You know, so I think you guys will be fine. You know? Okay. So, cool. Uh, <laughs> Killer beard, Ben. <laughs> Looking awesome, dude. All right, well, we just came through this insane slush about two feet deep. These guys went around. I was the guinea pig. Huh. I figured for sure since the sleds did it, no problem. Yeah. Oh man, that was crazy. Huh. Travis blew out his hip. And we're only about a quarter of the way to Thomas Lake. So, we're gonna turn back to Snowbank, hunker down for the evening. Potentially tomorrow, Brandon and I 
would continue on to Thomas. Joey's talking about joining us as well and leaving the other two with the stove. See how it goes. Set up here. Nice one. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Beauty. Good job, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Woo! dude. Here, let me get a picture. Set your pole down. <gasps> oh! <sighs> What'd you have on? Buckshot. Oh, green. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Where were you? Same spot? Yep, same spot. You're slaying them, dude. <gasps> Dang, here you come. He's back. Hey, it's a laker. Hey, he wants to chase it. Could be, yeah. I would say, yeah, the, that, that bite was like a laker bite, man. Oh yeah, he's coming for it. Oh yeah. Now he's going back. He's going back down. He sees yours. <laughs> well, I don't follow it like that. Yeah. Last time he took it, I just let it sit there. Camera, get your camera down there, dude. Yeah, I just don't like putting it in a hole that I'm fishing out of, you know? Like yeah, we well, have to re dig it right dig there. It hole, yeah. Just outside your back of the ice house, mm -hmm. I swear. Man, you think that shiner would taste so good? He just wants another one. Let's get 
getting a little video. Looks so cool out there with the, the smoke coming out. Oh, nice. That's our setup. It's a little tight in here with just two, and sleeping and fishing, but we barely made it work. <laughs> we did make it work. Got that baby rolling nice. Everything's drying. Brandon and I are planning to break camp and go to Thomas and uh, leave the other guys here. Last night and this morning, between Brandon and me, caught two walleye and one eel pout. So we did find them here, the fish, uh, about 38 feet of water. So it's gonna be quite the crazy hike. It's really far and the trail is not broken. So we're definitely biting off a lot by trying to go, but the guys might day hike out to us one day. And uh, so three nights we'll have there. We had four total, one down, three there. So we were just about to hit the trail and find out four people beat us to it and are blazing it for us. Not bad. Let's just hope they keep going exactly where we're going. And we're off. Officially broke camp. Goes Brandon, take a dump. <laughs> Leaving the sled. So Brandon and I started the portage. We made it up the top of the hill to the portage, or the first portage, and realized that we were undertaking an almost impossible task. So we turned around. <laughs> The dog sleds haven't made it all the way to Thomas since the big snow, so we would have been blazing pretty much the entire time. Brandon's sled was tipping. Brandon in particular was, was pretty exhausted. He had a lot more energy yesterday, and so he was doubting his own energy. And I think even if we had tried to push it, I don't think we would have made it there today. So we figured we'd head back to Snowbank, just stay here the whole time. It's a beautiful lake. 
We've got we caught two walleye on it already, and our, our buddies are on this lake, so it should be fun. Brandon's back there taking a poop, and they are right in those three tents. I'm really hoping to uh, kind of sneak up on them. They'll hear me walking, but I'm hoping they don't open the tent. And then I think I'm planning to disguise myself as the DNR, um, Officer Putman. We shall see if it works. And uh, kind of make them a little nervous. They're not going to expect me to be coming. Yeah. This is Minnesota DNR. I'm Officer Putman. What's wrong with you <laughs> What happened? Where's Brandon? <sighs> Brandon's got one on. Nice and easy, brother son. Oh, oh whoa. Big, that eel pout. Big eel pout. Eel powder hot this time of night. <laughs> All of a sudden your pole tipped over. I thought I knocked it. Oh, wow. Look at that guy. Nice Brandon son. <laughs> Woo! I already took some, but. Alright guys, kill the headlamps. <laughs> yeah. Planning to do. Dump it work very good. Use the grate. It's just smoking a lot. To make some steak. Nice. The MSR going with some butter in it. Markham is working. What? Is that what he's been working on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's not, it's not that. Steak, New York strip. Here we come. Beautiful morning. You can see, Brandon and I got our dual set up. They got their triple. Beautiful. I think. Still green. Still green. A bit. Just getting some wood. All right, let's move on. Nice little freebie right here. The question is, there's the other Two of them might be too old, but at least there's one decent size. Huh. This one, no way. Yeah. But this one. Huh. Yeah, that one seems no way to me. This one on the right? Yeah. Just that it's an open top. That open top will just, yeah, penetrate. water. Penetrate down. Water will just soak into it. But it might have only made it four feet, five feet. Um, here, let me just, uh, but what, what do you think about this one on the, on the left? That one looks great. Yeah, exactly. I figured we had it in the front. Yeah. And it's in pretty good, I can't yeah. get it. Yeah, all right. But, uh, Are we going there with this? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think it's, 
see I see what you're saying. Can you get a little fresher? Yeah. Almost you weren't safety guys out here. Uh, yeah. You gonna go? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, good, man. Ah. Okay. That one. Yep. I question that one. It does look a little rotty. Maybe try pushing it. Freebie. It'll be good. Might be a little bit rotty, but maybe yeah, it's okay. Good snap to it, you know? Good. <laughs> Whoa, deep man. Some pine needles on there means it's newly live so maybe a little too wet probably How's it going? Good. How about you? I'm gonna keep going. Nothing good? Nothing good yet. I, I saw some good cedar groves, but all, all of them were alive. I'm just waiting for that big pristine dead one. Perfect. Yeah. Good. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna follow you. All right. Um, you need these if you find it. All right. Cool. Pick these up on the way back. Yep. 
Whoa, holy cow. Brandon, I'm not, a good idea. Hey, I'm not 100% sure, but I might have found a monster dead pine. Okay. I'll scope it out. Oh yeah. Oh. Hi, the pine that I saw, uh, maybe check it out on your way in. I saw some like, it's, it's a monster and it's beautiful, but I saw some brown pines on it. Uh, it's slight, it's leaning on another tree. Barely though. It's almost vertical. Yeah. Check, check it out. It could be a gem. Otherwise back here, there's tons of cedars and I know there's gotta be a dead one. I'm, I still haven't, I, I might've just found one, but we gotta, I know there's some. All right. Yeah. Got one. Found one for sure. Yeah, I had to take my jacket off. Yep. Oh yeah. Found a good one. Aha! Uh -huh. Getting some cool footage. I forgot to look at that pine. Oh yeah, that's all right. Uh, so come that check. Nice. Right? This is the one right here that I found. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, wow. She's a beaut. Perfect. And I also found that one. That one I was able to just crack. It's on the ground. Good. Yeah. All right, I'll take the saw. Uh. Yeah. 
it was hollow. Hollow in the middle. Yeah, that's, good. That's, good that's good for a okay for a cedar. <sighs> Are you doing thirsty? Yeah. So thirsty. The one thing. Yeah. Some birch bark right there. I'm gonna go snab some of that for fire starter. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. That can happen very easily. Yeah. Especially snow goes down your neck. Yeah. You're like, ah! So just like once it happens, you got it. Kind of right over. Awesome. Perfect. That's just one fight of heat. Yeah. Wow. Free pickings, man. Yeah, there's a lot. All right, that's good. One more big piece like you that. Not quite as good, but it'll do. Yeah, man. That's bomb. There's some really good stuff up higher, but... You say we harvest that thing and take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think That's basically got, what we did that one year. We got plenty right here. Sweet. Bark. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be one sitting right in front of us right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're dead. Yeah. A little freebie. Yeah. Got some good stuff back there. We're just inspecting this monster of a tree. A little nervous because we see some brown pine needles right there. Dead, but how dead? That's the question. And we've been burned. Yeah. Today. Yeah, we, we've already had our share of, let's produce a bunch of wood, come to find out. <laughs> it's uh, just gonna smoke out on us. Big one. You wanna do or you want me to? See how that goes. Perfect applicator tip. Yeah. A little better? Yeah, more bright. All right. Put a little pressure on or are you filming? <laughs> There you go. Uh, Woo! All three of those landed right on top of me. <laughs> A little rotted, slightly rotted core. But that oh, see. Aged. But it's because it cracked here. You know, moisture came up from the from the bottom. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. I don't see that ri wet ring. I don't either. Which is good. It's perfect, man. Yeah. Let's uh, get out of here. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, baby. Oh. Whew. Go eat some food. And then right now, if you could just pouch it and put it around your shoulder, I perfect. Know. Yeah. You feel like Robin Hood or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I folded it up. Well, so that you can yeah. carry it out of here. All right. Can we help you in the end? Yeah. Here, let's uh, try to get it on the trail. Okay. Or, or do you we think just we just pull it straight, straight out? Straight All right. Straight out. So let's lift it up over this. Right. Yeah. One. Oh. Hold on. One. Okay, you all right? All right. Jacket's yeah. all good. It looks beautiful. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Good snap. Oh, there's the saw. That the saw? Yeah. Wow. It uh, got buried. Wow. Oh. Right there. The yellow That's handle. Yellow handle and a sling. Exactly. Think about it. Hardy locks the longer extension. What if you need a shot too? Yeah, right. There's a deep snow. Yeah. Shot of this sled, had some good dry stuff, a lot of cedar on top, some pine on the bottom. All right, start strapping in. And then this was the real find. It's monster pine for some yeah. size reference. This is our beauty. We're gonna, we're gonna see if they wanna come back and grab it for us. Just cause we are spent. <laughs> And then all this all birch bark. Yep, we did good. There's our tents. Just trying out this whole point here. Trying a new fishing spot just because fishing has not been amazing, so just trying some new stuff, exploring, digging a bunch of holes, putting down a bunch of lines. Hopefully we can find them.
Whoa. I'm in 60 feet of water and I got a laker chasing me at 30 feet suspended. I'm throwing a smorgasbord at him but I can't get him to bite. That's what I have on. I might have just had a tap, I don't know. I, tr I first tried the white minnow. Oh! He just hit it.
Other than that, Joey did everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cooked those perfectly, man. Like I said, I was not even hungry. So I'm gonna get a plate of macarons, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's delicious. Chunks of bacon in there. Mm. Now those bit that bacon. Yeah. That I brought too. Yeah. Looks like a laker. I think it might be. I think that sign is too big, huh? Maybe it's a smaller guy. Oh. He is into this though. Look at those passes he's making. Oh, I left my Vexler on. Oh, there's a freaking, uh, oh, what is that? Bottom, it's kind of weird. Bottom sucker. Oh, eel power? No. Maybe. That was cool, huh? Yeah. Oh. Seeing that laker. Makes me think you should put a little minnow on it. I have one right here if you want. Well, he, he's much for it. Yeah, but it just looks so huge compared to him. Yeah, but they, they, they still eat them. I got one looking at it, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. he looked at it and he went away. Oh yeah, it's a Laker. He's on me. He got another chair in here. We'll come hang out. I see a Laker finally come. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Okay. <laughs> you need five hours of energy. morning so yeah your flaps look pretty frozen in i heard you guys talking about that oh yeah yeah <laughs> well i think um i didn't realize it oh, travis drove his holes and pushed all the oh water ice we got the it. wall yep last year ours were you remember last year Joel? oh yeah how frozen <coughs> ours were <coughs> yep god they were bad wish i had a hammer yeah <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a hammer. I got a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a uh, um, eel pot on the bottom. It looked like one of those weird sucker fish, you know, that you see in an aquarium. Yeah. Just hugging bottom. Just like yeah, fins were kind of out. Would do, yeah. yeah, it was. I was just like, do not take my minute. <laughs> Have you caught one yet, Brandon? It, uh, not today, thank uh, God. <laughs> no, I meant a fish. Oh, no, but I, I had one on. You said that for like 10 seconds. Yeah, I just didn't hook them well. This is our minnow setup. 
we got this little cooler thing. And this pops out. We can keep them pretty fresh for the most part. The key here is it's not threaded. Threaded minnow containers freeze solid. So this is a pop top. There you have it. How to take your minnows deep into the backcountry in sub-zero temps. This is at least where, where we're at with it now. That was our bounty. Getting a little shot of these fish. Not the greatest for that long of fishing, but yeah. we worked hard for them. Yeah. <laughs> Time to flay them up. Yep. All right. Time to flay up these fish. Nice, beautiful. Beautiful walleye fillets. Backing out. That's where we're headed. So we're headed back now. We're almost to the car. And um, decided to come back one day early just because we originally were hoping to get back to Thomas Lake, but uh, Travis had blown out his hip and it was just some pretty tough conditions, so we stopped at this lake and hunkered down here. Brandon and I attempted then to go the next day all the way to Thomas. Half hour into our trip, we started to realize but that might be a little too ambitious. So we went back, set up camp for good, and stayed on this lake the whole time. And since the fishing was not great, we got three walleye between five guys this whole time. So that, and then also last night, Travis, his uh, mattress was losing air. He sunk all the way to the ice, we think below the water level, and it was in a puddle of water, which soaked up his sleeping bag, both of his sleeping bags soaking wet into his clothes, soaked all the way down to his underwear. <laughs> so he woke up at 4 a.m. soaked, got a fire going, changed clothes. And uh, so given that, uh, and all the other things, I think it's safe to say <laughs> we'll head home a day early. So, took it easy this morning, did some fishing, laid up the fish, had some fun, and now we're almost to the car. And we're there. There's Brandon. There's Ben. And there's Travis and Joey way back there. Woohoo! If 
Final stretch. There she is, Travis's car and our car. Home sweet home. Joey yeah. and, and Travis, here he comes. Woo! Well done. Got it. <laughs> well done, dude. That's a, that's a lot of weight there. Doing good. Made it. Snowbank Lake. That was our home last three nights. <laughs>